My name is Harrison Whitehouse and I go to St Andrews in Churchtown. So you've just been confirmed by Bishop Rachel. Yeah. What was that like? It was uh, uplifting, I guess. It, there's a really good vibe, so it's really nice, yeah. yeah. And as part of that, you had to prepare a short testimony. Yeah. Is that, is that right? Yeah. And you read that out on the evening? Yeah. Did that go down quite well? Um, well, I kind of like... So I had a written testimony and I kind of like chucked it aside and then I just made one up in my head. Right. So. You just did it off the cuff. Yeah. And so how long have you been working up towards the confirmation then? Five weeks, I'm pretty sure. Is it something that you've wanted to do for a long time or? No, it, um, my mum kind of suggested it to me and I agreed with it, so. What does it involve then? It involves, so a baptism or chris christenings where your mum and dad um, want you to follow the Christian faith and then a, a confirmation is just where you are confirming that publicly that you want to be a Christian and that you are agreeing to your mum and dad. And so um, on the evening you were confirmed and you go through that kind of process and then you, you read your testimony. Can you, can you tell us or give us some of that testimony now? So um, it all started off when my little brother was born Jensen and he is free and he has Dutchland muscular dystrophy which is a muscle wasting condition and my mum suggested that we go to church to pray and I was a very sciencey guy, uh, very into like, the Big Bang Theory and all that. Um, so I wasn't too up to it but I went and there was a really good vibe and I found something that I've been missing for a long time now is the Holy Spirit and God. And I kept on going and going and going, and I've not never stopped. So. And so you say you're a science guy. What, what, what does that mean? You mean you, you wanted to see the evidence before you could put your faith in something? Yeah. Very. Like I need to see proof and stuff, but I saw it firsthand at church. So. And what did you experience at church? It was. Like, a lot of worship, and it just felt amazing, and felt like. I was missing something that and I found it. I've changed the, the way I act, I guess, and spending more time with my family and friends rather than in my bedroom playing on video games and stuff. So. And so what would you say to anyone who was perhaps considering that same journey of, of confirmation and, and declaring publicly that they're Christian? It may be like a bit scary at first, but like people help you out of it and you get a lot of like you get really motivated into doing it, and it's really, really nice experience to go through. So, you also won the um, the skateboarding competition. Yes. Tell us a bit about that then. So, um, it was a skateboarding competition called Cathedral Skate, and it was around about Easter. I went there, and it was really nice, really nice skate park. And there were, I heard there was competition, and I was like. There's no way I'm going to be able to like win this competition. And then a guy called Phil Williams from Skateboarding UK, um, he said, you should do it, um, you'd be good. Like, it's for all ages and it is, like, if you were to do a competition, it would be this one because it's, like, it's a really friendly competition. So I joined in and I won, which was amazing. And uh, you were telling us before we started filming um, that shortly after you were confirmed, you went back to church. Yeah. And there was a verse in the Bible that kind of struck a chord with yeah. you shortly after you were confirmed. Yeah. First of all, tell us about your Bible, because that's I've never seen anything the like it. The Bible. But tell us tell us the story and then read us the passage. So, um, so, I always thought, like, I would always get, like, weird looks from, like, all the people riding around the skateboard coming to church, wearing this t-shirt, even church, bro. So, <laughs> um, and then my mum went to a group and she found this verse, which was really cool. Um, 1 Timothy, chapter 4, 
verse 12. Don't let anyone make fun of you. Just because you are young, set an example for other followers by what you say and do, as well as by your love, faith, and purity. So I just thought that's really cool. All right, cool. Whenever you're ready. Yeah.